What's going on guys? Beastly Gamer here and welcome to the channel. Today we're going to talk about the Nintendo NX and the possibility that Nintendo might be going back to cartridges. Now recently Nintendo released their financial report stating that the company uh, in 2015 up until March of 2016 made around 4.6 billion dollars and in this report they actually mentioned a company called Mechronix who is actually the company that creates their chipsets. They actually create cartridges and they made uh, the games for the Nintendo 64. They created the chips uh, to make those cartridges work. And so Micronix is actually working with Nintendo once again. And so a lot of people in the know are speculating that the Nintendo NX could in fact be a cartridge based system moving away from the disc based system that we know and love today. Now, to be totally honest, the disc based system that we know today is kind of on its way out. It's weird. To hear me say that because I really don't want that to happen because I'm a game collector. You know, I'm looking at my games right now as I say that. I love looking at, you know, tangible games that nobody can take from me. There's no uh, network that can go down and make my physical games disappear. But with that being said, we're moving in that direction. The ease of access, the ease of use to be able to download a game digitally is just so much better. It really is. It's a lot better just to download a game, never have to look for it again, bam, it's on your system, and that is what it is. But Nintendo appears to be going the opposite direction and moving toward cartridge-based systems. Are there some cons to this? Of course. With PlayStation and Xbox One, you can share your games. If you're dealing with a cartridge-based system, I'm sure that's going to be an issue. One of the good things, one of the pros to actually having a uh, cartridge based system is the technology. Now chips are so much smaller and so much more powerful than they were back in the day. You know, I remember blowing out my Nintendo 64 and blowing out my Super Nintendo and blowing out my Nintendo cartridges to get them to work. Cartridges will not be the same anymore. They would probably be very similar to the PlayStation Vita games and Nintendo 3DS games, but they'll be a lot larger. Now you can pretty much buy a micro SD card that has 60 gigs on it, you know, lickety split. And, and that's just as much space as on a PlayStation 4 game. So, depending on how big they make these cartridges and how much the capacity is, these games on the NX may look better than they do on the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox One. My only issue with this is, is it going to be hard for third-party developers to port games from the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox One to the NX because it doesn't have a CD-based infrastructure and it'll be a cartridge base. I'm not a developer, so I don't know how that works, but to me, in my mind, that may uh, introduce some issues into the porting aspect of gaming for the Nintendo NX. But overall, I don't think this is gonna be an issue. Uh, I'm probably gonna end up just having one Nintendo NX, and if this thing works out and they bring cartridges back and the games look amazing, more power to them. But if Nintendo does what they've been doing for the last few years and keeps tripping over themselves, uh, it could end up badly for Nintendo. You guys let me know what you think in the comments below. Uh, do you guys want to see cartridges back? Do you guys want to break out your, your blow boxes and blow these cartridges out again? Or do you think that Nintendo should go the direction of PlayStation and Xbox One? Are they shooting themselves in the foot by introducing cartridges to the NX? Do you think it's a bad idea? Be sure to give a thumbs up, show support for the channel, follow me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, and if you're new to the channel, subscribe now. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time.